What's good with it, YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee on the vid. Back at it with the news, man. Y'all know what it is, and we getting right into it, man. And I need to hear from all my stoners out there, the stoner community. You know what I'm saying? Like to get their smoke on, smoke good and all that. It's wild nowadays, you know what I mean? With the cannabis community is on a whole another level as far as edibles, gizmos, gadgets, dispensaries. It's just so different. What, uh, over 10 years ago? Is it that different? Yeah, from 10 years ago, it's totally different, right? Let alone 15 or 20. But anyways, man, Wiz Khalifa, big time smoker, man. Always uh, hitting social media with the latest device he's got or whatever gravity bongs and all kinds of ish but what do you even call this one it's a gas mask with it i don't know man this ish looks crazy this ish looks like if i did it i would be in the hospital y'all real talk man i've shared with you guys before i can't do the bud you know what i mean like it, smoking bud is like a bad acid trip for coffee but um on this one a comment if y'all ever flucked with something like this or you know what it is but it's rather funny in this clip man the dude said help help Wiz but for real Wiz be living like the life out there man he's got the whole car ish he does with the classic or cars or the low riders and all that and getting his smoke on and vibing with all this different celebrities like Wiz is living that good life man <laughs> and moving along this was very comical to coffee and i know y'all are probably laughing as well when you see this 1090 jake taps in and just roasts the fluck out of k frog man you see he got uh old boy from the sandlot like yo the, the, the dude uh from the sandlot whatever his name is he got weirder and creepier looking as he got older funny dude like i seen him in some other comedies and whatnot but um yeah man i don't know what's going on here some kind of funny viral video but you see he tagged k frog he said yo k frog that's your twin my man but uh, i think it's just all in good fun as i believe they've kind of ironed out their differences as um i think like I, i'm not saying i'm thinking they're rocking with each other tough or anything but you know like 1090 mentioned k frog i know jumper then k frog got i know jumper and show love to 1090 so it is what it is i guess but uh comment and let me know if y'all thought this was hilarious as fuck as well and then you see uh 1090 responding i guess to this video i didn't include the audio but i guess 1090 or uh, i'm sorry jake paul's talking about scrapping with someone and he's talking about i'll take the fade like could we see 1090 get into the celebrity boxing world? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you, if this is just a joke. I didn't look that much into it, but it's like 1090's getting that money, getting that bag, like on just a crazy level. I wouldn't hop in the ring. Like there's really no need to, right? All right, now, I don't know who this is that put this tweet out here. Um, if there's someone, y'all can comment and let me know if I'm like supposed to know who that is. But the message here, I had to point this out and ask if you guys concur. You know what I'm saying? We know that whole health crisis and lockdown and all that ish went down. And a lot of people are like, yo, people don't want to follow the rules and stay inside. They don't want to do this, that. They don't want to get the treatment. You know what I'm saying? It won't stop, et cetera, et cetera. But well, uh, this individual says uh, with monkey pox, motherfuckers would listen because people are more afraid to be ugly and deformed and just twisted looking than losing their life is that facts let me know all right man we gotta get at game here i'm telling you guys i was actually gonna make a video on this the other day right and y'all know i've been just sharing with you guys over and over like how bad the game is flocking up out here you know like aside from his affiliation with whack 100 and all the bs and whack having a you know all the bs and fluckery that whack is always up to you know has a target on his back and you know, the way he disrespects Nip and then people are looking at game crazy like, yo, how, like how you rep for him so hard and you don't, you just let your manager continuously pull this fluckery. And, you know, now it's to the point 
like we saw he got chased up out of the venue off the stage at the game's album release party that the album didn't come out and then now it's not an album or an lp it's an ep i've been going over this time and time again on the platform like comment y'all know what i'm talking about it's just the game's been taking major l's but the other day this la leakers freestyle drops and i'm like yo uh because the album's coming on the 12th so it's you know 12 13 days away it's almost here and um i'm like man this obviously we know what these freestyles are not really freestyles like that but i was like yo this ish hit hard right like he went in he ripped it you see the leakers was posting talking about yo if game ain't in your top five you're tripping and everything and i like he came in with the hit boy beat as well like he was very very big on letting that be known yo i got the hit boy beat you know what i mean i'm not coming with the wrist the hand-me-down joints we got our own i got hit boy on the production and all that as we know you know hit boy is that dude when it comes to production in the rap game right now you know what i mean i don't know if he's exclusively doing this ep for the game or not it's something i've been talking about as well that's been crazy with the game with the ep like it was supposed to be a 30 track album now it's just an ep but like you know he uh hit boy exclusively produced um you know tr uh whole projects for nas multiple ones i think three of them for nas uh, and one got a Grammy or maybe was it two of them got a Grammy? I don't know. You know what I mean? He did one for Benny the Butcher, like hit boys, that dude. So game being affiliated with him is a good look and he's repping it hard and he goes in and spits this freestyle and everything. I'm like, OK, finally, some kind of promo for the album. That was a good look. That wasn't a total L. Well, oh, and he was getting that um, Banks and Buck on it, which I was a bit surprised because we've we been seeing him and Banks makeup um i know he was on uh beef mode going at it with 50 again you know on the on the promo run and everything and a uh, young buck it was a brit shocking as well as like buck was always the kind of the g unit member that game was the coolest with right like when he first left and started dissing all them he wasn't even trying to include buck and then when buck fell out with g unit they got together and collaborated away on that tape conversation jump off dissing 50 cent well uh listen turns out this was an l it is all bad they're finding out that he's been recycling these bars this is like old ish which games done this before but one of the bars on here is a major contradiction that just makes him look like a total fool right uh as we know the whole black slim shady debacle where he was gonna diss m right and, and everything and then he didn't do it then he was gonna do it then he didn't do it you know and he was letting us know how he he used to fear eminem as an mc you know what i'm saying everyone was blogging on this y'all know what i'm talking about but in the end nothing came from it it was like again everything promo wise for this album was all the way backwards and just it was like who who put this plan together for you you know what i mean well peep this he 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 goes off like said he's 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 real aggressive on the flow on this and then it turns out he ends it by saying like he he is the black slim shady so like now he's back to bigging up eminem it's it's just bizarre it's like like i thought you were saying slim shady ain't ish no more now you are the black slim shady like i don't know it's just it's just all odd or was it supposed to tie into the black slim shady diss track that that didn't happen you know what i mean and the fact like i said that he's been recycling this flow people are piecing it all together like it's just crazy man you know it's like the game can just not win let me know what y'all think and then last on the rundown here, man, is some relationship drama. It's a mess. Tyrese, if you guys recall, he's been going through it over the years. You know what I mean? He, he had a divorce. His, uh, you know, BM or ex-wife that he had a child with wasn't allowing him to see his kid. It, it, it was crazy. And, you know, he was always going to social media with it. Like Tyrese just been a mess social media wise for the past however many years. You guys remember them crazy, bizarre videos he was making too? Like, I don't know what the deal has been with Tyrese, but peep this, right? He says he's learned a big lesson in breaking up uh, with his ex here. Uh, what's her name? He called her a manipulator, a, a, a snake. You know what I mean? And like, I guess uh, she's 25 he's 43 so that's what he's saying the big lesson is tw uh 43 year old shouldn't be with 25 year olds 
and his, his ex greatest fear was that he was going to get back with his ex-wife now comment y'all i want to know what everyone thinks about this you know like uh, maturity wise or just where individuals are at in life with those ages it's like totally different you know what i mean like it, I, I mean this makes sense I, i'm not saying there's not individuals out there that have big gaps or whatever in the age or whatever and don't I guess have a, a good relationship although a lot of people look at it like it's kind of weird um it's like this is a news flash to you tyrese you didn't know this but people he said he says um although the majority of my album entitled beautiful pain is about my ex-wife and this divorce that has turned into a grueling two years the smiles and energy and vibrations you brought into my life will never ever be overlooked i have learned a very big lesson here and that's 43 years old shouldn't try and connect to or relate to 24 25 year olds it's like oil and water like i just said like that's that's breaking news to you come on man you know what i mean y'all y'all feel me on this uh then he went on to say it doesn't mix i guess i'm really um out here grown grown and trying to keep up with these youngsters is not my li life or my world and he said, although it was one of the biggest fears and insecurities, I still don't want her back. I don't want to see her. That's regarding his uh, ex chick that he just broke up with. Always, um, I guess, when they were going at it, always like, oh, you're going to get back with your ex-wife, this, that. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I don't want, want to see her. I haven't seen her and I don't want anything to do with her other uh, with her other than being an amazing co-parent to our daughter fly zelly which is the girl he just broke up with um fly away and never come back or i'm sorry never ever look back uh you will never find me because i don't exist but i'm very clear about what we had and how the magic of our moments has came and went i will marry again i will i will i will man this guy's still a mess yo like like I said, yeah, uh, when I was asking about if you guys remember those bugged out videos he was making on social media a few years back, like reading this post, right? It's like I, I picture it in my head. Like I I'm I'm picturing I'm just getting those kind of vibes like Tyrese is just a mess still. Like, I don't know, man. You guys think Tyrese out here lost in the sauce, getting high or something? I'm telling you, I was getting those vibes from the, just the way he was moving man like i don't know ish ain't been with tyrese for a while remember too you guys remember when he just peered out of nowhere started dissing the rock talking about he was the real face of the fast and furious franchise like come on bro i mean i know the rock didn't come around till later and i didn't even watch those later ones but and tyrese had been in it but it, it was just like very odd like what are you tripping about man the real face of fast and furious was obviously r.i.p paul walker and of course vin diesel like slow your roll tyrese but um that concludes this one let's talk about it all in the comments as always guys much love i appreciate the support you guys fucking with the channel if you're new or if you're not new don't forget to hit them buttons the like uh, if you're new subscribe you know what i mean but more importantly as always guys get in the comments that's what it's all about over here coffee talking it up with y'all hearing from the people more videos on the way music news sports and more all my football fans too the nfl content has been coming check it out go peep my recent videos i'm out of here guys peace